All right, we all know the importance of brushing our teeth. That's right. It's also important for dogs, too. For more on that, let's send things over to Howard Dashevsky, who's with a veterinarian. Not just any Candace Denham from Kailua Animal Clinic. Disclaimer, you take care of Guinness and Jameson, my two boys. We love you. Great You're great. Yeah. Um, they're somewhat not as well behaved as you are. They're wonderful dogs. Uh, they are good dogs. Yeah. But we're here, yeah, the importance of uh, dental hygiene for not only our dogs, but our cats, it's critical. Right. You know, uh, dental health is really important in animals because it can lead to painful conditions as well as disease in other areas of the body. Um, the heart being one area that's really common, and also the liver or the kidneys. Okay, well, we can talk about it, but better if we show it. You're looking in that direction. We're going to slide in here. We have Jeannie, who joins us with Otis. Uh, Jeannie works with you at the clinic, and Otis loves to have his teeth brushed. So talk to me about brushing. Is there any way to do it, a preferential way, or is it just getting in there and doing it? Right. Well, it's important to start young to get the dogs used, or at, and the cats as well, to get them used to having the toothbrush around the mouth um, on a regular basis. We recommend doing it at least once a day as plaque can harden into tartar in li as little as 36 hours. So what you want to do is you want to make an upward, up and down motion and side to side and try to get every surface of the tooth. But honestly, if you're able to get the outer surfaces, that's our main focus. And, and you see Otis licking away. The fact of the matter is these, there's several different flavors. He loves it and most dogs like the taste, maybe not the act. Right, well, and the important thing to remember is that you want to use a, a pet specific toothpaste because mm -hmm. some human toothpastes have have uh, sweeteners in them that might be toxic gotcha. especially in dogs. Uh, if you have a hard time with the long one this is the one that I use it's the little one that you put on your finger and you kind of just get on in there so this sure. is just a kind of great easy little tool if you're having a hard time brushing not all animals allow it right you got some other little tools here that are sure that, are, so that work well. If your pet refuses completely to, to have their teeth brushed, there's a, a couple of different options. We have some dietary recommendations. We also have some chews that you can use that are safe that kind of mechanically break down the tartar. Okay, and um, then you've got these yeah. wipes. Don't mistake it for an acne pad. Right. It looks very <laughs> similar. You're right. And so, same idea. You want to kind of go on the surface of the teeth, the outer surface. If mm -hmm. you can get on the inside of the, the teeth, that's really awesome. Um, other ways, you just kind of wipe this along here. It has an antiseptic in it, which will help kind of What slow a good patient bacteria. Otis is, my he goodness. Is. He's very good. Okay, let me ask you about one thing, and you got also rinses. You got liquid that you can put into the water that helps too. Right, and that helps to, with enzymes that help break down the tartar. Okay, um, you know, you see people eating uh, those greenies. That was really popular, but too much of that I remember reading in the past that uh, people who feed their dogs greenies every day, you can end up with stomach problems. Right. You want to definitely um, exercise caution and always discuss with your veterinarian uh, what they recommend as far as treats or any type of new product that you want to introduce just to be safe because there are some medical conditions that could cause stomach upset. Okay. And, and a final question, you want to know how often you should be brushing your dogs or cats or animals' teeth. Just right. like us, right? Right, exactly. We recommend at least once a day um, wow. because that plaque, again, can harden into tartar within about Guilty, 36 not, hours. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to do it once a day. It's a, a challenge, day. but um, it's really important overall for their overall health. And especially the older they get, the more, well, start them young, and, and like Otis, he's going to love it, right, right Otis has great he teeth. <laughs> All right, well, right on. Otis, smile. Thanks, bud. You're a great guy. Thanks for coming by. Jeannie, thank you for being a notice. Doc, uh, Appreciate it. By the way, Candace is going to join us on a monthly basis. Next uh, time we see you, are going to talk about lasers. Right. That's a brand new type of treatment that is helping a lot of pets these days. In, in, in many different ways. Right. So look forward to that. Thank you for coming yeah. by. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Always Thanks love talking us. about our four-legged friends. We love our animals. Appreciate it. All right, Bridge, Marissa, back to you guys. Oh, thank